we're really happy to be here and I'm very proud of these young ladies. They've worked uh, very hard the last two years to win that MAC championship, especially what we went through last year, losing to Central Michigan in the finals and seeing all the tears that they had in the locker room. And after that, uh, after that loss, they uh, really got committed to putting in uh, more work and uh, wanted to get back and, uh, and, and feel the joy of uh, winning that championship game. So I'm really happy for our kids and we're excited about being here. Let's go to questions for the three student athletes. Raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Start here on the aisle. Casey, Hannah, Rachel, after winning the MAC tournament for the first time in program history, how were you able to regain that focus to get back to basketball and get back and get ready for this game? Casey, start with you, please. Um, you know, we just came to practice ready to go. Um, you know, we won the MAC championship. We were really excited about that. But then we came back to practice on Tuesday. We were ready to get focused again. And so we really didn't think about that. We were just looking forward to the next game we played. Hannah? Yeah, I mean, we had a couple days off, so we were just, um, you know, we enjoyed the win for a few days, and then when we got back in the gym on Tuesday, we were just focused and, you know, just ready to listen to what we were going to do um, against Purdue. And Rachel? Um, yeah, also, we're playing great as a team right now, and I think we're having a lot of fun as a group, so we're just excited to be here and uh, play tomorrow versus Purdue. Kyle? Rachel, why is your team so good offensively? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thanks to Coach Kesh, she put in a um, fast break offense a few seasons ago, and we've had a lot of practice at it. Um, we have the personnel for it, too, as well. We're finesse players. We get out and run, and Casey pushes the ball up the court and uh, looks to get us all the ball. So I think it just works out great for our personnel. Tim? Question for all three. What's the difference between your team before January 15th when you were 7-8 and eight and after when you went 16-1? and one? Rachel, I'll start with you and come this way. Okay. Um, I think the biggest difference is that we're playing together as a team. Everybody knows their role now. I think at the beginning of the season we were playing more like individuals. And now, I mean, I just think we're clicking as a team and we have a lot of team chemistry out there. Hannah? Um, one of the big things is our bench play has improved tremendously. Um, we have a lot of contributions from everywhere now. Before it was just a couple of people. So now we have, you know, really um, just a lot of contributions. So it's really helping us. And the confidence level of our bench is really high right now as well. Casey? I mean, I would agree. Our bench has stepped up tremendously. I can't be more proud of those girls. And uh, I think we really looked in the mirror when we were January 15th. We looked in the mirror and knew we needed to do wrong. You know, we made improvements in practice. And so we stepped it up. Here on the aisle. At the MAC tournament, some of you stated that Coach Kess gave you a chance. Bigger schools looked over you, possibly for being too small, not strong enough. Does that motivate you going up against a Big Ten school like Purdue? Hannah, I'll start with you. Um, I mean, I think we all want to prove ourselves, so I think that just we're just going to go out there and play our games. Um, I'm not really focused on whether they recruited me or not because I'm happy where I'm at with Akron. So we just want to go out and represent the university the best way that we can. Casey, you want anything? No, I, I agree with Hannah 100% on that one. Rachel? Yeah, same. I think all three of us are just happy to represent the university for the first time in the NCAA tournament, and we're just happy to be here. Additional questions for the student athletes? Mike? Uh, for Hannah, the, you know, you, one of you mentioned that you guys are playing pretty good right now. And the fact that your championship game was on Saturday and it's kind of a quick turnaround, there's no long layoff. Do you feel like that would help, will help you keep your momentum? Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we like to play. We like to play basketball games as everybody else does. So I think that being able to play right now in a week, you know, we're ready. We're um, you know, we're in rhythm, we're, we feel good about ourselves. So yeah, we're excited to play already on Saturday. Anybody else? Kyle? Casey, the President of the United States picked you guys to win. <laughs> yes. What is your reaction to that? <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I don't know, it's awesome. Coach Kess, first time coaching, getting this team to the NCAA tournament. Is there any change in your preparation from the MAC tournament to the NCAA tournament? No, we keep things very simple. You know, like they said, it's all about us. Our preparation is going to be the exact same, and uh, it's never been a concern for us who the opponent is. It's just we got to take care of us. Coach, the same question I asked the uh, players: Was there a particular game or moment that you thought was a turning point for you in the middle of the season? I mean, they talked about it a little bit after we lost to Miami. 
we were one and three in the conference, and that that uh, that hurt us because we lost to Central, wasn't a big deal. We had, didn't play well. We lost to BG, but losing to Miami at Miami really hurt. And the coaching staff, we came back and we self-evaluated us and what can we do differently. You know, sometimes you always want to point the fingers at your at your players and blame them, and we needed to look at ourselves and what we can do. To, to get better and then as well look at the players and what they can do better. So we made a change in the starting lineup and then we sat them down and we said, you know, we're good enough to, to win the rest of the games, 14 in a row, or we're bad enough that we could uh, lose 14. And uh, uh, the change really helped in the starting lineup. Carly came off the bench and I thought did a fantastic job, especially a senior. That's a tough role. You've been starting for the last year and now all of a sudden you're coming off the bench. And like the player said, I, I think our bench has played unbelievable over the last month. Anita Brown, Katie Noonan, Carly off the bench, Megan Barilla. And um, even though Rachel and Hannah both scored 22 points, you know, those other kids knew that they had capabilities of scoring but weren't looking for that early on. And um, they were open, and I think Casey offensively has gotten so much better. Early on, they were not guarding her at all. They were double teaming um, the Rachel, Rachel or Hannah. And I think the last month, uh, she has a lot of confidence right now in her offensive ability, and that's helped out. We feel like we have five players on the floor, floor right now that can score at any time, and I think that makes it very difficult at times to stop us. Coach, for Purdue, Courtney Moses, their leading scorer. What have you seen? The, what does she do so well? And how defensively, how are you going to be able to stop her? I, I don't really know if anybody can stop her. I think uh, we want to try to contain her. She's phenomenal. I mean, I, I see her playing the WNBA next year. She can score so many different ways. She can score in transition. She scores um, with all the different sets that they have. She scores in the two-man game that they have. I mean, she's just phenomenal. And to be honest, and I've seen Purdue play on the Big Ten Network uh, as a fan just watching basketball but not really evaluating it and when I've watched the last six seven games and, and, and watched their team play how, how impressed I am with their team and with their coaching staff and they do so many good things and uh, you know we're gonna have to play a great basketball game in order to beat them additional questions Tim um, is there anybody that you've played this year from that has a similar style to Purdue or that you that reminds you of Purdue uh, a little bit size-wise, maybe Dayton. Dayton was a very big team. They like to score in transition. And, and when you look at Purdue, they score so many different ways in transition in their half-court sets. They don't set as many of uh, ball screens as Dayton does. But size-wise, I, I would rank them as close. Anything else? All right. Thank you, Coach. Go thank you.